All right, guys, welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan, and today we are getting back onto this office desk project, okay? So if you remember from the last video, we got the casting resin poured. We had a few bubbles here and there. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bell sander, knock all these imperfections out, and get to the flood coat. Here we go. Guys, before I get to sanding, just wanted to let you know, I know you guys have seen me sand a million times, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sand this with 50 grit on my belt sander, knock this stuff down, and I'll get back to you when we're ready to do the flood coat. So now that we got the belt sander on this table and knocked down some of the high spots and the bubbles and stuff, I'm going to take my orbital sander and I'm going to go over it with some 80 grit and then 100 grit and then 220. That's how we're gonna knock this thing out. And that's just to get it prepped for the flood coat. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, let's start mixing up our flood coat. That way we can get this thing coated, let it dry, and we're one step closer to get that thing into my office. You ready? I am. So once again, we got some Total Boat High Performance Epoxy Resin. We're gonna mix this up and use it on our desktop here. So remember, it's a two to one mixture. That means two parts resin, one part hardener. And uh, we need, just so you guys know, when you're doing a flood coat, it's three ounces per square foot, okay? So we're gonna mix 22 ounces and we'll pour it out and we'll do that again. So we'll do two of these cups. All right, so we're going to do 16 ounces of resin and 8 ounces of hardener to give us 24 ounces each time. All right, we're going to go ahead and mix this for three minutes. All right guys, remember to scrape the sides and the bottom when you're mixing. And one really important thing, do not leave the resin in the cup for a long time because it will generate its own heat and start curing faster than you want it to. Let's get this poured out on the table here. Now let's mix up another batch real quick. All right guys, as you've seen me do in the past, I'm gonna take my eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trowel and I'm going to mow the lawn. As Stone Coat Countertops guys like to say, we're gonna start out in the middle, work our way down, work our way back. And we're gonna work the material from the inside to the outside. Here we go.
All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our heat gun and just get the few bubbles that are there popped. And we're gonna let this thing sit so we can get it installed into our office. This thing is looking so sweet, really pretty. I love the way the reclaimed wood looks, don't you? Super nice. Guys, we're not actually gonna be worried about the edges on this particular table because three out of the four edges will be against the wall and the fourth edge right here in the front will be covered with flat black metal. It's gonna look really cool, really industrial and it'll kind of tie off the filing cabinets with the front, make them match a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry and I'll be right back with you. All right guys, so my wife and I like the finish of the last little coffee table that we did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this thing satin instead of high gloss like we did on that last one. So if you guys haven't seen that video, what we're gonna do, I'll go ahead and link that down in the description so you guys can see exactly what we do to get a satin finish. All right, so once again, we're gonna go ahead and wipe the dust off. And if you guys can see, we have a couple of little spots where we had a few little pinholes or something. Here, I'll show you one. Right here, it's a little pinhole in the wood. You can see it there. And there's not too many. There's one, two, Looks like three, four, and five. So just five of them. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our handy dandy Starbond Thick Instant Adhesive. This is called the Gap Filler. We're gonna go ahead and put some of this Gap Filler in there. That way we can get back to sanding a little bit and finish this thing. But wiping the dust um, makes it easier to see these things. Sometimes you can't see it under the dust. Alright guys, it's time to put on some wipe on poly. Remember, I'm using the Waco stuff. Let's go ahead and start putting it on. We'll be right back to you after this table dries. It's gonna look nice. All right guys, we're back and our finished coat of uh, satin poly is dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our orbital sander with uh, some scotch bright on it to get rid of the marks left over from wiping this poly on. And then we will sand it down and then we'll, we'll buff it out to a satin finish. It's gonna look nice. Okay, so we're in the office here in the house 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I got some scrap boards from out of the shop. This is some old oak left over from a table. And I marked on the wall here, 29 inches up. And that's where the top of the brackets, which are these pieces of wood, these are the top of the bra these are the brackets, and the top of them are gonna sit on this line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw these boards into the studs on the wall. And guess how you find the studs in the wall? Use a stud finder. Super easy to use. Put on the wall, press the button, it's ready, and you just slide it until it hits the stud. I mark the middle of each stud all the way across the wall, and we're gonna screw these boards to the wall. Once those are set, we'll be able to set our desktop onto those and then screw the desktop to these. All right guys, so we got our brackets mounted. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you can see them. I have a little gap right there so that the wires from the computer can come down and go into the outlet there. <clears throat> let me show you what I did here though. So the holes look really big and that's because that's because I use my half inch drill bit. So that way when I screw my screws into my screws in this piece can fit inside the hole with because this piece is so thick the screws aren't long enough. I wanted more of the screw into the wall in the stud and less of it in the middle of this piece of wood. So anyway, we got our stuff mounted all the way across. It's all level. So now it's time to just bring our desk in here and get it all set up. So we finally got the office desk installed and it looks amazing. If you guys can see here, it's really hard to see because the sunlight is coming in. So I may have to block the window, but we have our legs here mounted and we used a piece of aluminum that I spray painted black for the front. And I just used some small, um, some small lag bolts. And these will actually be painted, we'll touch them up. We'll touch these up with some black spray paint uh, before it's completely finished. But we also have to finish painting this room, so this will actually come back out if need be. It's not anchored down all the way yet. But I wanted to show you guys because I was excited. I wanted to show you guys what the table looked like when it was installed. So without further ado, I'm gonna block this window right here so the sunlight's not directly on top of the table and I'll get you guys some flybys. Here we go. everybody I hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and if this is your first time here consider subscribing this was an awesome project it took a few videos to get this done this is part four of the office desk build and today we completed it so if you guys haven't seen those other other videos I will link them down in the description and all the tools and materials that we used in these video series I will also link down in the description. Guys, I had a blast making this and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So as always, thanks for hanging out with us.